Pam Bond, and this is 10 Minutes of Bonding. My guest today is Frances Janisch. Uh, she is the founder of Leonard Street Provisions. Um, it's a catering company here in New York City in Tribeca. Um, Frances was born and raised in South Africa, and she started her career uh, photographing interiors, and then in 2011, uh, moved to New York City and uh, was shooting food for um, different advertising and editorial clients, and uh, finding herself surrounded by all of the culinary greats. Um, her own love for food and entertaining uh, really started to blossom. And I think I have this right, in the summer of 2018, formally started her own catering company, Leonard Street Provisions. Um, uh, Frances actually catered a client event for me at the beginning of the year. And it was just amazing. Um, her team and her food, were amazing, everyone loved it. And so it is my great pleasure to be speaking with her today. Frances, welcome to 10 Minutes of Bonding. Thank you, lovely to be here. Yeah, so I just wanna be sure we can hear you. I'm gonna turn up my own volume a little bit, okay. just to be sure. Okay. So, so Frances, you, you own a catering company and uh, and so, of course, I'm really curious about what your work challenges are right now. Um, maybe you could just say a little bit about how those are the same or different than they were before. So pre-COVID, um, the bulk of my work was large-scale events. So it could have been cocktail parties, birthday parties, corporate events, baby showers, you know, anything to do with large-scale catering. 20, 30, 40 people, 50 people and up. Um, um, and, you know, most events were past hors d'oeuvres or, um, or dinner or lunch, so buffet style. Um, and now that, um, now with the COVID-19, during and post, I feel like we may have seen the end of the buffet for a while. Mm -hmm. So, um, I don't know, maybe, maybe, maybe it'll come back, but not, not in the quantities that I was doing, I don't think. So, you know, I've had to change my model and um, move with the times. And that means focusing on other things, smaller things, family meals, um, more custom menus, um, anything that, uh, and then trying to figure out what the new cocktail party is going to look like, you know, uh, going forward. Do you, so I would love it if you have any thoughts on that. I'm, do, you have, do you have any thoughts about what the new cocktail party might look like? I mean, it's, I, I I've sort of tried to imagine it and I think that it's probably going to have to be individual other little boxes I mean which I, I I don't I don't know how how that that would work but I mean it's probably going to have to be you know that kind of thing I don't think you can do shared plates anymore um I I it's I think most caterers are sort of trying to figure that out I know um on photo shoots that um I used to cater a lot of photo shoots too and everything was served buffet style now you have to everything has to be you know in a box um individually so no one touches anybody else's food um right yeah. so I mean that sounds like that could work right you can yes, have yes. little boxes and yeah, so for a photo shoot, that's great, or for any kind of, you know, corporate lunch or something that could work, but a cocktail party, it doesn't, it's not quite as elegant. So we have to figure out how that's yeah. going to Interesting. So, so during this time, what you had mentioned a couple of things, doing um, like weekly meals or some kind of special um, event, possibly. Uh, what, so what are you doing right now for your clients to, what kind so, of things are you doing? Yeah, um, a couple of, well, a few um, clients have asked me to cater to special occasions. So some, I did some of these events, um, Passover dinner, um, I did an Easter lunch, I've done custom menus for families who just don't feel like cooking anymore, um, where they tell me what they want. And, um, you know, I take into account allergies and dietary um, requirements and, and I deliver the meal, you know, at the, at the agreed upon time. Um, so. So that's, that's been lovely. And I love doing that kind of thing. Um, the other thing that I'm trying to figure out what to do moving forward is um, frozen meals. So the families that, you know, both parents work 
or and they're homeschooling to kids and they don't have time to cook or they sick of ordering in and they just want something that they can pull out the freezer um that kind of thing and they can you know it, it i'd probably put out a weekly menu on a friday for delivery on a monday you know sort of five days worth of meals or three days or whatever they want so that kind of thing um yeah Oh, that's yeah. so interesting. Or I suppose if someone was, I guess, maybe having a birthday because, you know, life is going on. I mean, people yes, are having birthdays exactly. and anniversaries and exactly. graduations and, and all kinds of things. Yes. And Mother's Day, for example. So, yeah. It's just, yeah, yeah, exactly. Any sort of occasion where you just want something a little more special, you know. Um, mm -hmm. So that's that's what I'm here for. And my favorite thing is making food look as beautiful as I can and colorful as I can. And, you know, it's, uh, that's what I love to do. And I just, if it brightens somebody's day and, and it tastes good, then that's all that matters. That's amazing. And I can really attest to how beautiful your food is. And um, later, I mean, afterwards, I'll be sharing the website uh, with, on the videos, um, and people can see, I mean, it's just, it is stunning. Thank you. It really is. And your photos are really beautiful on your website too. Thank so, you. That's yeah. Having yeah. Been a food photographer, that was one thing I, um, I could do for myself. Yeah. So, yeah. So with all of this going on, are there any routines or rituals that you're, you've started to do to kind of help you with balancing what your life and your work are like right now? Yes, so I found that it is important to, to, you know, have as much of a routine as possible. And that means waking up every day, more or less the same time, if you've had a good night's sleep, which isn't always. Um, you know, I try to get the kitchen sorted out and cleaned and, and ready because my daughter Julia does her schoolwork in the kitchen. It's like the room that she feels comfortable doing. So I get all that ready and then we, you know, we go for a, a walk in the middle in mid-morning mid to the Starbucks or to the local bakery, which in my neighborhood is Grand Daisy which is open and they it's lovely you go in and they get a nice coffee and chat to the people and buy a good loaf of bread um you know and then we make sure we sit in the sun for a bit and we go on lovely long walks and you know I mean Julia and I are together all the time and it's been great you know because I was so busy before I mean just frantically busy um and it's just been amazing to spend this time with her and we laugh a lot and we watch movies and really it's it's really focused around her and making sure she's okay and then when I have any cooking to do I'll do it before she starts school after she's finished school on the weekends whenever it is I just but as long as you know she's doing well then that's okay I have to say just one quick thing is that I had such a great team working with me I miss them so much it's just awful <laughs> um I had two or three people who who were with me all the time and it's just uh you know, it's just moving on without having them in my house and the laughter and it's kind of strange, but I think we all, we're all feeling that. Yeah, <laughs> I think you're right. I think you're right. I, you know, hopefully when this, you know, hopefully there'll be a way for us to get back to some of those things that we do miss and some of the ways that we were working that we yeah. could bring back. Hopefully that does happen. So yeah, no, thank you for sharing that. Um, so, I mean, I, we have a minute left and I always like to ask this question. So I'm going to ask you, um, these days, most of us are looking for comfort and inspiration. Um, for me, it, often it's poetry. Um, where are you getting your comfort and inspiration? So, you know, cooking is just so much a part of my life. I mean, it's my job, but I, it relaxes me so much. And, um, I, I read cookbooks. I read, I, I spend way too much money on cookbooks and, you know, and I like a book as opposed to, um, you know, getting a recipe off, um, off the, on the phone or um, on the iPad. So that I've always found very relaxing. Um, you know, and I still make sure I go to the farmer's markets and it's a pain because there's a line to get in and whatever, but it's just seeing all those ingredients come in, especially now at springtime has been just so wonderful um, and very inspiring. Um, so that really does relax me and that's sort of my ritual. Um, the other thing I will say is that I have these, an incredible group of friends and we have regular Zoom cocktail parties and I tell you, I, I could not survive without them. 
they, I just, they just keep me laughing. We laugh all day. And, um, and that's been wonderful. That's really cool. wonderful. Thanks for sharing that. Francis, thank you so much for joining me. I wish you all the best. And hopefully, um, I can't wait to see actually how you do come up with some new ways of um, helping people figure out how they're going to entertain going forward. Yes. Um, yeah. Well, we can do anything you want. So oh, you want to say me, okay. I can Great, do. great. Great. Um, so I'm uh, again, uh, I'm going to be sharing um, the video. It'll have Frances's information, her beautiful website. Um, and uh, so you can get in touch with her if you have any questions or you want to talk to her about maybe some things that you're looking to do. Um, I will be back on Tuesday with more uh, 10 minutes of bonding. Um, so in the meantime, um, take care, Frances, again. Thank you so much. You've been wonderful. Really wonderful. <laughs> okay. All right. Bye-bye.